Right, I've got all the components I need here to make a uh, dual power supply. I've got like uh, two switches, so I can uh, switch on either of the power. Uh, I've got a 7812, uh, which uh, enables us to have a 12 volts power supply. A uh, 470 ohm resistor and a blue LED. Uh, that's to know that the uh, 12 volts is working. We've got a 180 ohm resistor and a 7805 for a 5 volt power supply. Uh, two switches so we can switch them on and off. And also I've got uh, two 35 volt 220 microfarad capacitors for each. Uh, for smoothing to make sure that we get like a, uh, a nice smooth power output out of these and a little case now uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, uh, putting all these on uh, some Vera board and uh, making sure it's housed inside here so uh, we can switch it on or off uh, I'm going to have an LED and an LED, a switch and a switch. Then we're going to uh, also have uh, three leads coming out the other side, which should be yellow, red and black. And out of this side, we should have the input from hopefully our 12 volt battery, uh, which should be uh, just red and black. Now the uh, the yellow wire will be the 12 volts, the uh, 5 volts will be the red and the uh, the black will be the uh, uh, 0 volt. I'm going to crack on with this now then. Right, I've trimmed some uh, Vera board now so it fits uh, nicely inside the uh, the case. Uh, I'm undecided to uh, use these too much bigger capacitors, uh, but to be honest, I think space will be an issue, uh, even though they are uh, a thousand microfarad. I think we'll go with the 220s because they're the same voltage rating. So uh, now I just need to design the board. I decided to go for the opposite end layout where like uh, the 12 volt one there is there and the uh, 5 volt one is there now uh, uh, this enables me to put the uh, the 5 volt LED there and the 12 volt LED there now uh, apart from that we're going to have to try and find uh, if we can have enough space for the uh, switches uh, which could be a problem but uh, we'll sort that out now right so we've uh, we've soldered the uh, the one on one side and the other one on the other side and it fits neatly inside the board now uh, we just need to put an LED and a switch where we've got space so we need to uh, draw some holes over the top of here so I'll do that now right well, now uh, because of the available space I've had second thoughts about having uh, two switches uh, one to switch on the uh, 12 volts and the 5 volts and I'm just going to put one switch in there now it's going to uh, switch on both and uh, see where we go from there. So we've got the uh, capacitor there, capacitor there, one there, one there, all joined across there and there, and then across the uh, Vera board. So on this side, it looks nice and neat. And uh, we've got one connection between them all. Uh, all we need to do now is uh, give it a quick power up, see if it works and then uh, sort all the connections on and 
Uh, put it inside a little box there. Right now I've got the circuit working. If I just switch it on. We've got both the uh, the red and the blue. Uh, the blue being 12 volt and the red being the uh, 5 volt. So uh, we can now uh, solder on the uh, yellow lead. Uh, which will be our 12 volt out. I'll do that now. So now we've got our circuit with our uh, three outputs and our two inputs. Uh, all we need to do is uh, get this little plate here, drill the little holes for the bezel bezels, and then slot them in, and then uh, feed these little wires out uh, and attach the switch. Right, I've got the uh, nice little bezels on here now. The, uh, I've tightened them up. Uh, so I can basically the one bezel will go over there and the other bezel over there. So it looks nice and neat. But uh, what I'm going to have to do is shorten the legs on this LED and that LED so we can actually uh, fit it all right, in. so we've got this uh, hooked up to 12 volts and uh, the red lights on that suggests that like uh, red lights means that 5 volts is working we've got 5 volts on now the uh, 12 volt supply which is the yellow one and we've got actually a 10 volts off that. Now I think that's because we haven't got enough power going in to start with. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to hook it up so we've got 24 volts going in. So uh, if I just take that off there and hook this up if I can. So we've got the uh, 5 volt and the 12 volt and we've got 12.03 is a nice steady voltage so as long as we uh, supply the box with over the voltage of the one that we're using so uh, in this case uh, uh, when these, one of these batteries is fully charged it's 13.8 volts so one of these batteries will uh, give us a decent to 12 volt at 1 amp so it's a good little power supply and uh, if we go back now to the five volt you'll see that we're still getting a nice 5.07 volts so we can use uh, this supply as a constant knowing full well that uh, we're not going to blow our uh, our picks uh, so this is an add-on to the, uh, the battery projects I've been doing I might put a bigger resistor on that LED because it's a bit bright and it's probably going to end up annoying me. <laughs> but uh, anyway, thanks for watching.